Welcome back. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, welcome back to the Cyclops Chronicles. Let's have a slightly saner opening to this video. <laughs> Alright, so this one is going to be the how many questions did I put down here? I should have put that in the title. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Top ten stupidest questions I have gotten about my eye patch. Now keep in mind, I work in tourism. I deal with the public. I get a lot of stupid questions. <laughs> All right, so number one, is that real or just for show? This is usually asked when I'm just working behind the till selling tickets. Why do I, why, why, why would I, why would the ticket sales person need to be? Question two. Do they make you wear that? I work in a leprechaun museum. What is your what is your mental connection between leprechaun and eye patch? Do you think leprechaun is another word for pirate? I or or Odin? Like Fair enough, fair enough. Some people, very rarely, actually know what it is we actually do when they come up, which is telling stories from Irish mythology and folklore. Very few people actually know that when they come up though. And even fewer actually know anything about Irish mythology. They could be like thinking it's some kind of obscure reference to Balar of the Baleful Eye or something, but no, no, most people, they have no idea what we do, or any idea about Irish mythology to even think it might be a reference. So why are you associating leprechauns and eye patches? What? <sighs> the answer is no. Next question. Are you sure they don't make you wear that? Next question. Can you see with your other eye? What? 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 <laughs> so... <laughs> yes, um, yeah, no, no, I can't. I can't see with either eye, so I wear what an eye patch over one for no reason. None at all. <laughs> I don't understand this question. I don't understand. Ah yes, as I was saying in the previous video, I love getting questions from kids. I absolutely adore it. They're so wonderfully earnest and curious and 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 genuine. There's no malice in it. But on the other end of the spectrum, I hate getting questions from old people. Because they're always the most snide, the most rude, condescending questions, always without fail. And one, after asking me about the eye patch, asked, how long have you been telling that story? Since my diagnosis. You want to know how you get old people on side when they're doing things like this. There's, there's a very easy way. What you do, and what I did, was I said that the doctor who diagnosed me, and this is true, thought it might have been connected with the laser eye surgery I got in my early 20s. And when I told her, when she had the opportunity to complain about a somewhat new field of medicine and about doctors, she was delighted. 
and she dropped all that condescending ableist bullshit immediately and she was immediately on my side and that's how you deal with them you give them an opportunity to complain about doctors and new technology and they'll be on your side because you know technology bad fire scary why don't you just get glasses because they won't fucking do anything now this one isn't really a question, it's a comment. I think you should get your eye fixed. You know, that never occurred to me. I had never, I had never thought of the idea that if one of my eyes is causing me difficulty in seeing to the extent that it interferes with the other eye, that maybe I should get it fixed. That's, that's genius! That's an incredible groundbreaking! <sighs> what does the doctor say about your eye? Everything I just told you. L literally everything that I just told you. That is where I got that information from the doctor. And then I, I, I relayed it to you just now. That is what the doctor told me. I didn't take out some tarot cards and ask the spirits what was wrong with my eye. I went to a doctor and the doctor gave me this information. And then when you asked me what was wrong with my eye, I relayed that information to you. That is what the doctor said. Can you read? I can see. Why would I not be able to read? This is not the one that I just don't understand. I, I can see. Why would I not be able to read? You don't need depth perception to read because letters don't have depth and even when they do <laughs> it's not really relevant <laughs> to what they say I... <sighs> and finally do you believe in God See, the problem with this question is that it suggests that I feel like I've been afflicted with some dreadful marking from the Lord on high and no, 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 I'm fine, I'm grand. I wear an eye patch and it sorts out 99% of the problems of the eye and I'm fine. I live my daily life. Everything's grand. I'm happy. Except when strange people decide that I must have some kind of conflict with the universe because <laughs> because, <laughs> because I have to live my life in a slightly different manner. But to answer your question, not really anyway, but that was, that was already a thing. <laughs> right, so that was the 10 stupidest questions I've been asked about my eye patch, Or nine stupidest questions and one really stupid comment. I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> I enjoyed it anyway, and that's all that really matters in the end. I, I, have, a, I have a couple more ideas planned out. Uh, I, I'll probably do more stuff. If you have questions, if any of you have questions about the eye patch, go right ahead and ask me. Uh, yeah, that, that'd be fine. G yeah, go, go do that. Go, go do the thing. Yeah. I promise I won't be as sarcastic unless you do something really fucking trollish. Alright, bye!